What's up, you guys? I'm Philly Selfical. This is my channel. So, I just flicked out some cards, and sometimes I'll, you know, I'll flick shit out, probably what other readers do too, and see if there seems like there's a message that's worth putting out, right? So, you thrive in chaos flipped out. Which, you know, immediately I was just thinking, okay, this is for people who are throwing chaos spells or even just trying to make someone's life difficult and just make things chaotic for you, whether it's at your job, someone in your family, your community, whatever. And then that was confirmed with they can't handle the chaos that they created for you. I thought that this would be a really good message to put out. So let's find out. Hit the like button for me, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's up with you thriving chaos and they can't handle the chaos that they created for you. I mean, this could also be the government as well. No, oh, what's going on, you guys? 111. Oh, stressing out. Why? Reaping what they sell? Why are they stressed out? What, what's up? Tell me what this chaos is about. What's up with it? Oh, their whole world being shooken up. This, I, I'm telling you, this could literally just be like chaos in the world. This could be um, otherworldly beings that are low vibrational that create chaos, like entities, spirits. But this could be like anyone who creates chaos for other people. That this is just anybody who brings stress into this world, period. That this, this has a lot to do um, with this coming full circle stuff, I think, with what's going on with the planet. I don't think it's just with people and our personal shit. I think that it's, it's the things that are being done that's affecting the atmosphere, the universe, the planet. What's up? Yeah, laughing my ass off. Did somebody say, or did you say this? This could be you. This could be your ancestors. It's destruction, right? Chaos and destruction. You could have said, bitch, you put that shit and any kind of chaos magic towards me or you try and just bring any kind of bullshit into my life, period, and you're going to be sorry, bitch. Yes, you. So somebody could be listening or watching and someone's like, yeah, this is the ancestor going, yes, you, motherfucker. Okay. They never laugh while the chaos is in their lives. Yeah, desperate PayPal. Hmm. Who's desperate? Are they trying? Somebody trying to hack your PayPal? Somebody desperate to try to get to you through? through for somebody that they're, they're sending you dingbat donations? Yeah. All right. Let's get some letters for you. I'm guessing that um, you probably have some kind of channel or. A platform where people can donate or maybe you even have clients and have things that you charge for so let me see somebody's desperate to get into somebody's PayPal E or P this could be P as well Pedro T or H Teresa Thomas W or S comfortable hmm. destruction and comfortable mm -hmm. these people thought that they could just bring chaos and destruction into this world or just in people's lives and that they were going to continue to live uh, comfortably and that's not happening I mean this this is on a general scale and this is for people individually like you can't possibly think that you can just act a certain way and that there's not repercussion for it you would be stupid it's very uh, naive and I can't even say childlike because even children know that they're going to get something for acting a certain way. This is just ignorance and, and just stupidity, uneducated people who just I don't know if they forget that the shit that they do is going to come back to them. Or Let's see what ETW is. Competing in a pageant, somebody competing with another person too, like desperate for attention, desperate to be the better man or woman, or it feels weird. A group of teenagers, hold on, enjoy the weekend, expect to win. Uh oh, 
So for somebody here, there's a person who uh, ex I guess is expecting to win. You could be expecting to win. You, you may get a large donation from your PayPal. There may be people who know that you're about to get something. You know, There's people who are probably getting tarot readings on somebody to try and see if they received something yet. This is the type of energy that's out there. I want my, my business all up in yours, but don't try and come in my business kind of shit. Very one way, sacral. Have you been listening? I've been listening to a lot of sacral uh, chakra clearing. You could be having feelings in your hips, your hips, your lower back, possibly your thighs. Somebody could have been attacking your, your sacral chakra. But that someone's having a hard time just taking care of themselves. Yeah, destiny. You may get a PayPal. And somebody may honestly be, while well, other people are going to be desperate just to be able to, to get resources, just general resources. Someone else is going to be living out their destiny, possibly getting repetitive PayPal donations. These people who uh, wanted to cause chaos in your life so much. You're going to wind up coming into some kind of money or just things where you could have helped them out. And you're going to, you know, they're going to know that the reason that they're going through this shit is because of shit that they did. It's going to be inevitable. You can't not know. Something that you're destined to receive may wind up coming through your PayPal. I also see that there's people who can see that you are destined for something great that are now losing shit. And they could be trying to hack your fucking PayPal because, um... You know, you don't get to cause destruction for people. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to cause bullshit in people's lives. And now that bullshit's in yours, and you're losing, and that person who didn't retaliate, they didn't come at you the way you came at them. They minded their business because they understand karma. And now all of a sudden, somebody else is actually doing well, and you think now you motherfuckers have the right to now steal? Undercover. Uh oh. Is this somebody? An undercover police officer? What's this? Dropout. Beauty school dropout. Well, somebody could have wind up working undercover and they dropped out. There could definitely be somebody here who, um, gorging keeps popping up. Clear that from these Is that like, um, like excess, like obsessive? I just like, yeah, like, I, it's like gorging though with not knowing when to fucking stop and sit down. Either stop listening, stop packing, stop setting people up. It, it's just this energy of, I just can't stop and I don't know why I can't stop being an asshole. All right. From your spirit. Somebody dropped out from being. Yeah, yeah, and now they. There's somebody in particular, I'm gonna get their name, um, that was possibly working off time by going undercover. They dropped out, okay, and I feel like somebody else, like somebody went back to possibly addictions or thieving or hacking or something like that. They were supposed to be bringing information back for some shit, but um, there has to be drugs involved. There has to be. Now they don't want to do it, or, or I don't know, the police may think that this person is still actually bringing the right information. So I'm going to pause it and get somebody's name um, for the detectives in case they need to know this. Be right back. Okay. Someone's name is Thomas, Tom. And, and this person was supposed to, I, I don't know if they've always been undercover, or they decided to do this maybe to get out of trouble. No, he was supposed to get information. Yeah, no. But they're not, and I'm being told that the uh, police and detectives know who who this Thomas is. They they told me I didn't have to get next next message. Okay, that I don't have to get a last name. That you guys know who this person is. I don't feel like you trust this person anyway. So you need to pull them out of undercover. They're just buying time so that either they don't have to go away for the shit they did, or they got back into bullshit. And they're getting high now, so they don't, you know how it goes. All right, Mark. Next and Mark. Next, Mark. Or that is that someone's name actually? Mark. Yeah. Okay. So Mark and Thomas. Clear that from your spirit. Do I need to say any more about that? All right. So for the detectives and the police, Mark and Thomas need to be pulled. All right. Tell me another message. 
That's another message. Thank you for that. You come from Egyptian descent, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get one more. <laughs> Royal. New moon or full moon exposing more. Awesome. So let's find out who this person is that comes from Egyptian descent first. Who's you the important one? Adultery. Okay, well, damn. Someone is exposing someone for cheating. Tell me about this. You come from Egyptian descent. Thank you. Okay. That's where your, your roots are, right? The roots. People didn't want to believe it. Maybe you don't. Seven of Pentacles. Fighting over the same guy. Egyptian descent. So that's like knowing worth. A Leo. There's a Leo possibly. Um, that it comes from Egyptian descent. Or you do. And it's just very strong. Uh, strong bloodline. Now there's a Leo on one side or another. That's being exposed. There could be a Leo on each side. Let's find out what the secrets are. Thank you. You realize they're gang stalking a cop. Okay. Okay. Tell me more. Hired a hitman. Is that a secret? Okay. Thought what? Morgan? Is that that Morgan and Morgan again? <laughs> Hold on a second. Clear that for me, Spirit. Is that that Morgan and Morgan law firm again? Yeah. Okay. Clear that for me, Spirit. Oh, they want me to tell the CIA that the Morgan and Morgan needs to be investigated. I exposed some stuff about them, you know, um, having to do with, hold on, uh, papers for illegal immigrants, just protecting the wrong people and being dirty. So, clear that for me, Spirit. Does this have something to do with somebody who Morgan and Morgan... Um, Beep is or was representing. Okay, I'm gonna get a name. Okay, this this guy's name is Nick Lasso. L O S O. I don't know. Is this person hired a hitman to kill his wife? Okay. Uh, the law firm doesn't know this, so this would be the secret coming out about this guy Nick Lasso is that he hired a hitman possibly to kill his own wife. Who was the hitman for? Tell me tell me um, who the hitman was for, please. Tell me about this hired a hitman. What you want to tell me about this, please. Tonight? Was he going to have his wife killed tonight? Or he was going to hire them tonight? Clear that. Did he already hire this hitman? Okay, clear that Holy spirit, please. Tell me the truth, spirit. Is he supposed to kill his wife tonight? Okay, clear that Holy spirit. You want me to go on. They want me to cut this short. I'm going to put this out there because clearly somebody, it may be the wife watches my channel, actually. Okay, yeah. All right, darling. Um, let's find out. Let me see something here. What, how? So what's going to happen? Your circle. This could be somebody in your circle. Yeah, Gemini, but that's what it is. This is... You need to shut the fuck up, right? I don't know. Somebody could be talking or somebody could be even... This could be, this could be even someone giving testimony on their own husband or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, hold on. Hired a hitman. They partnered up with somebody. Uh, okay, yeah. What happened? I don't know. Somebody got together with someone not realizing how unstable they were. And then I guess, I don't know, if the wife just was like, I'm done, and this person is, is, is going through it. Dirty bird. It, yeah. Tell me about it. Is a mama's boy. Right? I think there's a woman who's just like, 
Or she may find out, she may find out during this message. Uh, have you ever admitted that you're wrong? I'm guessing that's him. I'm going to leave it at that because I feel like someone's wife is going to watch this and don't trust something. They, they, um, they could act like they're, they're, they need you for something. Um, I don't know, that. Someone may wind up asking you if you could help them out. Oh, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I feel like you're going to know sexually. Maybe this person had problems sexually as well. Yeah, this person could have even been... Um, yeah, no, look at saying don't. I knew it. I thought this was at the bottom, this nope. Somebody's going to say, oh my God, could you do this? Or, or they're going to act upset or, or something. Just... Stay by yourself. Tonight, especially for the wife here, stay to yourself. Don't answer no phone calls. Don't, if something seems off, it probably is. All right, we're not going nowhere. Love you, Philly out.